That's a wicked view, hey? It's beautiful. Welcome to uh, the island of Phuket here in Thailand. Really just having a look around Thailand. It's a country I've never been to before, so I've always wanted to come down here and visit. But I wanted to do a really, really quick video just on a couple of things. There's two things that I want to cover. I wanted to come down and visit here because it's been on my travel list for a little while. And we were staying in Singapore, as you know, where I did the flight from Selitar Airport. That was the last video that I posted on this channel. And from Singapore, it's only about an hour and a half flight up here to Phuket. And great place to come. Here in Phuket, just up the road, there's a place called the Phuket Elephant Sanctuary. It's a place where elephants are looked after after they've lived uh, horrible lives, lives of abuse in the logging industry. Uh, they've been abused for the tourism trade. You travelers out there who come to beautiful places like this, Southeast Asia especially, but anywhere in the world, do me a favor. If you ever go traveling and you ever see riding on the back of an elephant, bathing with elephants, watching elephants do painting, and other animals too, you know, horse rides, horse and carriage rides through cities. It might appear to be really local and authentic, but it's not. And these animals, this is not their natural environment. We saw some horrific video, which I'm not even going to explain some of the things that they did, but the way that they beat these animals down and really break their spirits and their souls until they're at the point where they'll just do anything in order to get a round of applause from a group of tourists was just horrific. It kind of, it brought us all to tears and it was just horrible to see. So what I want to ask of you is if you find yourself in that situation and you think, oh, you know, it would be cool to ride an elephant through Thailand. Isn't that what everybody does? Please just stop for a minute and do the best thing that you can do in this situation. And that's vote with your wallet. Don't pay money to these businesses because if these people have no income, then they're going to stop running these businesses and go off and do something else. And hopefully these animals will end up not living a, a life of suffering. If you want to spend your money and you want to see these animals, then see them either in their natural environment or, or find a place like the, the elephant sanctuary. The money that you're paying for your ticket, instead of continuing the abuse and the hardship of these animals, just lets them live their, their final years in, in peace and happiness. beautiful animals they're just like us as well you know they pretty much live the same amount of, of years on the planet they're very social they're just amazing I'll put a link to the elephant sanctuary below if you're in Phuket I know it's a long shot but if you're ever here and and you want to support this great place and just see the elephants being awesome I'll link it below definitely check it out Now, the second thing that I want to talk about is just quickly, a few um, people out there have mentioned to me in comments on some of my recent videos, the travel videos. A few people have been saying that that's kind of not the reason why they subscribe to the channel and where's the aviation content and why aren't you flying? And I had some comments about people saying I talk too much, which look, I understand I might do that. I'll work on my editing and try and cut. I just want to reiterate one thing. This is my YouTube channel where I've always wanted to just be able to share my experiences of things that I do in my everyday life, which is flying. Of course, you guys know I'm a private pilot and I do love to fly. Then there's travel as well. I mean, I do love to travel. I'm traveling a lot. And I just figured that I can use this channel to try and share those experiences with you all. And I think variety is really important. I never wanted this channel to be all about me just flying the Cirrus and being very instructional in terms of this is how you get your pilot's license and this is how you fly and this is what you can do when you learn to fly. I think there's a limit to how interesting that that can actually be and it really pigeonholes this channel into a niche. What I think is more important is to share the experiences that I'm having to try and encourage you to, to do similar things. So to travel to places you might not have thought to go to, to, to try different types of flying that you might not have thought you could do previously. Now there are plenty of great websites out there that do tell you exactly how to fly. I mean, they'll do everything from how to land a Cirrus all the way through to, you know, working out the lift equation, but that's not the type of channel that I want to do here. I want to do more of the show and less of the tell, because I think if you're watching these experiences that I'm having, it might encourage you to, like I say, get out there and kind of do the same thing. So of course, I'm always thankful. I'm thankful for everybody who's ever bothered to subscribe, watches the videos and likes these videos, but 
I want to be honest with you right from the start and I always want to let you know exactly what's going on in my head so I appreciate the feedback but at this stage I am going to unapologetically continue to post the travel content as well as the aviation content on this channel. Now sadly we do have to leave this amazing place we have to go in about an hour and a half that gives me an hour and 25 minutes of swimming five minutes to pack. <laughs> 